And I was testing a, a little fellow, and he was telling me, he said, you know, Auntie, when I used to be in class, I would do the work, hand it up to Miss, and go and play. Now, I have to go and do the work, I have to take a picture of the work, I have to upload it, and I have to remember to hit send. Auntie, I forgot to hit send, and I got into trouble. To start with, let's talk about the physical challenges. I think that is really, really important. I always start with the physical. When you're talking about the basics, many families don't have the technology. Um, and it, it, it's difficult to fathom the extent to which we have challenges with children having access to their physical devices. But we do have a problem. So that's one main challenge with this. So before we had places of learning and students were to get to school and that had its own challenges there with transportation and getting uniforms and such, right? We still have those challenges. Huh? We still have challenges with making sure that children are appropriately clothed and fed. That never stopped. But now, do they have the devices to go because they no longer have a physical place to go? So that is one, the technology and access to the technology. Number two, do they have the understanding of how to use the platform? So case in point, um, child, I was testing a, a little fella and he was telling me, he said, you know, auntie, when I used to be in class, I would do the work, hand it up to miss and go and play. Now I have to go and do the work. I have to take a picture of the work, I have to upload it, and I have to remember to hit send. Auntie, I forgot to hit send, and I got into trouble. So it's a frustration for them. They have the devices, but now they have to learn the platform. They have to remember each step. So it's a change. It's a change. It's, it's, so there's, there's vying for devices in, in, in family. There's that physical space. Not everybody has a room to themselves. Not every family has a room designated per child. We have sometimes multiple children in one space. So that in itself with the distraction and the talking and the, the different curriculums and different expectations, that is. So the tedium, then you have to look at your child as their unique person. What type of learner is your child? Is she visual kinesthetic? Is she a mover? Is she a shaker? Online learning, at least in the beginning, when we went straight from trying to teach in person to going online, teachers were trying to present the curriculum as they did in a class. It didn't work because it was for some, I should say. It worked for some, worked, didn't work for others. Because it was much more difficult for children who needed that experiential learning to retain. And it became tedious and boring and just, just overwhelming to sit at a screen for hours and hours and hours. So that in itself was difficult for them. There was the demotivation. You know, when you sit in class, there's normally some kind of payoff. A job well done. Thank you very much for handing in the work. Excellent job. Great. Oh, you know what? A consequence. Where's my work? How come you didn't do items two, three, and four? Okay, well, you know, you're going to have to do it for homework or you're going to have to stay in a class, or you're going to get detention. So there were natural consequences to it. So the motivation to get it done was, uh, was changed. And then there's a difference between class rules, traditional class rules, and the rules at home. So you're used to home being home, school being school. You go into the class, there are the expectations, there are the rules. You've known it since you went into infant one. Now, your parents are responsible for making this time class time with those traditional rules and then home time. So that transition alone was quite difficult there as well. The movement breaks were lacking. The movement breaks. So what was happening is that when children got their break, say they got a 10 minute break or a five minute break, they were going on screens. In school that wasn't allowed you had to go outside and play so just some of those transitions made it difficult